I found the 13 highest paying work from home jobs that are hiring right now. That's right, you seeing this as long as you're seeing it right when it comes out. So make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell. These jobs are going to be hiring right now. Bingo, how fun. And I'm gonna be focusing mostly on high paying jobs at the entry and mid level. So if you're somebody who doesn't have any work experience, there's gonna be some good jobs on this list that you can look into. And if you're somebody who has a little bit of work experience, but you want to transition into a better job, there's also gonna be some good ones for you too. And the first one on the list is gonna be one of my favorites, which is IT Help Desk. Now here are the current job opportunities for this one. I'll have them pop up on the screen. You can pause the video and check them out if you'd like. But this is basically a position where you're going to be providing technical support to clients as well as other team members. Is that coming from your laptop? It's not supposed to sound... What's all that crap? It doesn't require a college degree. It doesn't require previous experience. And believe it or not, it doesn't even require certifications. That's right. You can get into this without certifications. And I know this because I've helped several people do it. And I interviewed them on my channel. You can check those out if you'd like. And a few of the students were able to get jobs in seven days and 10 days, believe it or not. And they didn't have any previous experience or a college degree or anything like that. And also they both went through a company called Course Careers and they have a free training, which I'll put down in the description as well as the the pinned comment below. A good friend of mine, Josh Matikor, who's a fellow YouTuber, actually does this course. And if you choose to upgrade to their premium version, which is basically a cohort learning experience where you're going to go through it with a bunch of other people and you're also going to have instruction. And if you want to check that out, you'll get $50 off of it. And I'll put that down in the description and the pinned comment as well. But anyways, IT Help Desk makes about $53,000 a year as a complete entry level position. That is excellent for something that doesn't require a college degree or any previous experience. And there are tons of different IT related jobs where you can easily make it to six figures or even higher, $200,000, $300,000 a year. Mm -hmm. So yeah, really good one to look into. I'll give this one a 9.5 out of 10 opportunity score. The next one on the list is going to be an email marketing specialist. So here are some opportunities for this one. I'll have them pop up on the screen. Again, if you're watching this like a week after it's posted, these opportunities probably will not be available because they're gonna get flooded by people watching this video. So hit the subscribe button, ring the notification bell so that you can be first. But this is a marketing specialist that focuses on effective email marketing strategies for companies, right? So they're gonna know how to use email marketing software and they're gonna be crafting messages that make people wanna buy the product. Shut up and take my money. And email marketing specialists make about 61000 dollars a year. And that's amazing considering this is another entry level position. You do not need a college degree. You do not need previous experience, although it definitely helps. And you don't need any certifications or boot camps or anything like that. What you do need to do is have the correct skills and make a really good portfolio. And if you do those two things, you can land a job without any previous experience or a college degree. Damn. And surprisingly enough, email marketing might have the best return on investment out of any type of marketing out there. They estimate that for every $1 you spend on email marketing, you actually get around $40 back. That's pretty good. And that's why newsletters like Milk Road are able to start up and then sell like seven or eight months later for over $10 million. So yeah, this is another really good one. I'll give it a nine out of 10 opportunity score. The next one on the list is going to be a tax analyst. Here's some opportunities. I'll put them up on the screen. And basically what they're responsible for doing is reading and interpreting complex tax laws, regulations, and financial data to ensure compliance and optimize tax strategies for individuals or businesses. And there's a great quote by Einstein where he says, the hardest thing in the world to understand is income tax. I have no idea if that's a real quote, but I did see it on Google and I thought it was funny. Well, then I guess it must be true. Now for this one, you do need a degree in either finance or accounting, but there are literally millions of people who have those types of degrees. So a good percentage of people watching this probably do have that. And you make about $67,000 a year. And this is an entry level position as long as you have those degrees. So pretty freaking good. But because of the fact that you have to get a degree, I'll give this one a seven out of 10 opportunity score. But if you have those degrees, it's going to be higher. The next one on the list is going to be another one of my favorites. And this is kind of an umbrella term, but it's going to be digital marketing. And here's some opportunities. I'll put them up on the screen. And basically you're going to specialize in social media marketing, developing strategies, creating engaging content and analyzing metrics to boost online presence and reach target audiences. And digital marketers make about $68,000 a year. And this is another position that you can get into at the entry level. So like I said, this is kind of an umbrella term. There's a lot of different types of digital marketing, including SEO, which is search engine optimization. Then there's pay-per-click or PPC, et cetera, et cetera. And 
and some of the different types of digital marketing do pay better than the others. And I'm actually going to go over some of those in a few moments. But yeah, this one overall is great. I'll give it a nine out of 10 opportunity score. The next one on the list is something that you can technically do in digital marketing or outside of digital marketing, and that is becoming a marketing copywriter. And copywriting is basically selling with the written word. Paper. So whenever you read a newsletter, or even if you listen to a YouTube ad, chances are that was actually written out before, and that would be copywriting. And in this position, you'd make about $72,000 a year, and this is another entry-level job. You don't need a college degree, you don't need previous experience, but like I said before, you do need to have a good portfolio, right? They're not just gonna hire you if you say, hey, I've got great copywriting skills, trust me, bro. And this is also one where you can become a freelancer, or you could even start your own business. So it's one of the most valuable skills you could possibly learn. So overall, I'll give this one a nine out of 10 opportunity score. The next one on the list is going to be a content strategist. So this is one of the newest types of marketing and it's also one of my favorites and it's basically exactly what it sounds like. You're gonna help brands or individuals create content in order to market. And it seems like all the biggest names and all the biggest brands in the world are starting to create content and there is a reason for that. Content not only builds your brand and awareness, but on top of it, you actually get paid to do it. For instance, YouTube has an AdSense type program where you literally get paid to make YouTube videos. And if that wasn't enough, it boosts your trust and your sales by a ton, right? Like, why do you think Alex Hormozzi went from, you know, running like a 10 or $20 million a year business and then giving that up in order to start creating content? Do you think he just did that out of the kindness of his heart to teach everybody how to become really successful entrepreneurs? Well, maybe it was partially that, but the main main reason he did it is because he wanted to build a massive online presence and that allows him to reach people where he could potentially invest in their business and then he's probably going to end up becoming a billionaire through equity but anyways i digress content strategists make about $73,000 a year. This is not a position where you need a college degree or any work experience. Again, all you need is a good portfolio and some skills. So here's some opportunities. I'll pop them up on the screen. You can also check the website ytjobs.co. And this is another one where you can work in a job or you can freelance or you can start your own business. Or you could just like start your own brand and you know, make content yourself. Get the camera, get the camera! So yeah, I'm gonna give this one a 10 out of 10 opportunity score. The next one on the list is going to be a child mental health therapist. Now, I always like to put one or two of these medical related careers into these videos because everybody seems to think that you can't work a remote job if you work in medical. When in reality, there's a ton of remote jobs in the medical field. And all you have to do is check a website like flexjobs.com where they literally just help people get remote jobs. So the only jobs they advertise our remote and you'll see that there is a ton of medical related jobs on there and this is one of them so I think everybody knows what this is child mental health therapist you provide therapeutic support and guidance to children would you like a hug and in this position, you'd make about $74,000 a year. Now, this is one that, of course, does require a degree. Most medical careers do. So if you have a degree, this one is a great opportunity. But with that being said, because of the fact most people probably don't have psychology degrees that are watching this video, I'll give this one a 7 out of 10 opportunity score. But I just wanted to put some medical-related careers on this video just to show you that there are remote job opportunities out there. And I'll put one of them up on the screen here, and you can check it out if you'd like. The next one on the list is going to be an integration specialist. And this is a position that specializes in integrating various pieces of software and applications within an organization. Here's some job opportunities. I'll have them pop up on the screen. And this is becoming a more and more popular career, especially with the onset of AI. Let me handle this. In the next five to 10 years, organizations are going to be integrating AI into their workflow. And so there's a ton of demand for this position right now, and there's gonna be even more in the future. This is another one where it does not require a college degree. It does help if you you have a good portfolio though, and it does help if you have some previous experience. So I'd say this one is kind of in between being an entry and a mid-level job. You technically can get into it as an entry-level job without a college degree or previous experience, but it is going to be relatively difficult. So chances are it would be better to start off in something like IT related and then move into this position. But they make about $81,000 a year. So I'm gonna give this one an 8.5 out of 10 opportunity score. The next one on the list is going to be a software developer. And 
I think everybody knows this is a great career. It used to be an even better career, but now it's kind of going through a bit of a dip. I do think it will recover. But with that being said, I think everyone knows what software developers do. They basically code all these magical things that we're doing, like, you know, the screen that you're using to watch this video on, and also the website that you're watching this video on as well. It was all coded by a software developer. And they make about $105,000 a year. So what? Now, this is technically an entry level role. You can get into it without a college degree or previous experience. Everybody in the tech industry has their own opinion on the best way to get into these types of positions. Some people say you should just self study. Some people say that you should go to a boot camp. Some people say that you should go to college, you know, and get a bachelor's degree. Some people say you need to go to college and get a master's degree, right? So everyone has a different opinion on this. There's a lot of different ways to skin a cat, as they say. But one thing is for sure, you definitely need to know your stuff in order to land your first entry level position. And so if you can know your stuff without having to get a college degree, then go for it. Another common way of getting into this position that I think is really smart is to first get into IT, something like IT help desk, for instance. Nice callback. And then move into this position from there, because it's really easy to kind of move once you're in the tech industry, once you've got your foot in the door. So here's some opportunities available for this one, and I'll give it a 9.5 out of 10 opportunity score. The next one on the list is going to be a product manager. Now, this one is not entry level. This is the first one on the list that is definitely not going to be an entry level role. And the reason for that is because you're basically going to be overseeing the development and success of an entire product. So let's say you're working at Microsoft or Amazon or something like that. They're launching a new phone or a new computer. You would be the person who is overseeing that product. You're kind of controlling everything. So it's almost like entrepreneurship with training wheels. And so you have to know a good amount about marketing, sales, operations, engineering, everything, because you're going to be working with all of those departments and making sure that they are cohesive and they work together. And product managers make about $127,000 dollars a year. Gee, that's a lot. So typically in order to move into a product manager role, it would look something like you start off maybe as a data analyst and then you move to a project manager and then you move to a product manager. Or maybe you could go straight from data analyst to product manager if you're really good. And there's honestly a lot of different roles you could move into product manager from. You could also move into it from marketing or sales, etc. But yeah, this is another really good one. I'll put some opportunities up on the screen if I haven't already. And I'm going to give this one a nine out of 10 opportunity score. The next one on the list is going to be a lead analytics engineer. And basically the role here is you're going to be responsible for developing analytic applications, business intelligence solutions, and custom reporting for client payment integrity. And data analytics engineers make $127,000 a year. And this is another one that's definitely not an entry level role. So you might get an entry level data analyst role, work a few years, and then move into this role. So overall data is super valuable, a lot of opportunity there. I'll give it a nine out of 10 opportunity score. The next one on the list is another one of my favorites, especially at the entry level, and that is going to be tech sales. Now, tech sales is kind of an umbrella term that covers entry-level roles as well as kind of mid-level roles. But the entry-level role that I really like is called BDR or SDR, which stands for Business Development Representative or Sales Development Representative. And here's some opportunities. I'll put them up on the screen. And in a technology sales role, you would make $141,000 a year. Oh, damn. And even in an entry level BDR or SDR role, you still make over $70,000. Damn! So this is one of those that's a bit brutal, like not everybody can do sales related positions. But with that being said, if you're cut out for it, this is a fantastic career to go down. And I always say that sales is one of my favorite careers, whether you're cut out for it or not, I think you're going to learn a lot from the experience. So I'll give this one an opportunity score of 9.5 out of 10. The next one on the list is going to be a medical science liaison. Now this is another medical related role and it's definitely not entry level it also definitely is going to require a degree guess that makes sense a lot of people will move into this role and they'll come from like a pharmacy background or in some cases even a medical doctor background and this is basically a sales role combined with a medical role and it's a bridge between pharmaceutical companies and doctors so basically they'll provide scientific and clinical expertise on some new drug that's coming out and they'll educate different medical providers and usually they'll also bring a lot of food and stuff for you to eat, which is awesome because, you know, I was a pharmacist and I would always eat that food. Free candy! <laughs> but yeah, I knew a lot of pharmacists who wanted to become medical science liaisons. It is another role that you can do remotely and they make $193,000 a year. 
So obviously this is not going to be a good one for most people out there. So for that reason, I'll give it a 7.5 out of 10 opportunity score. But if you're one of those few people who has like a doctorate in pharmacy or medical doctor and you don't want to do what you're doing anymore, this could be a good one for you to look into. By the way, if you want to check out some other high paying jobs that are hiring all the time, I did make a video on the 17 work from home job companies that are almost always hiring. And you can check that out by clicking right here.